Hope you are well. Welcome to another video. Today we will learn how to convert a touch mobile phone into a wireless mouse. So first of all, we need to download the software, open your convenient web browser, and then you search for remote mouse for PC free download in the search section. Now, in the first search results, you can select the first option to get started with remote mouse so when you click that uh, you can now download for windows if you need uh, for ipad you need for mac and the rest you can get them but for now we are interested in getting that for windows and then you will see that the setup is downloaded so mine is here bottom left so with this setup i can choose to copy it and put it to my different location for example i can go to the folder where i've downloaded it i can cut this file and save it to another location for this time around let me put it on the desktop and then from this location i'm going to run it as administrator so this is my setup file i right click on it and then i choose run as administrator so you will get a message uh, from microsoft these messages normally appear because microsoft does not know the publisher but choose to run because it is not harmful to your computer so follow these simple steps they are quick and install your software successfully click on finish click ok and once it is done this is how your software looks like that is our remote mouse it has been installed successfully so once this one is installed successfully we need now to download the same application remote mouse from google play store so go to your phone and then you open play store once play store has opened you can search for remote mouse remote mouse is there you can select it and then you install this app on your phone so this can depend on your internet connection if your internet connection is faster it can even be installed within seconds so let me wait for my app to be installed so you need to note that if or while using this app on your phone and on your computer you need to be connected to one wireless network or you need to be connected to one internet connection this app doesn't consume data bundles or doesn't consume internet if you are using it that is one condition that you need to be connected to one connect to one network if you are connected to remote mouse so now that our app has been installed here it is so we can now ensure that our devices are all connected to one network connection you can see for me i'm now connected to 404 not found named wi-fi both on the phone and on my PC. So let's open the remote mouse on our phone. Here you will see instructions on how to use it. You can drag screen from right to left and then you click OK, got it. Then you click allow so that the app will overlay on other apps. Give it permission from the app settings depending on the phone you are using you give it permission 
depending on the type of phone you are using but this is not a hard process so after giving it permission and we go back to our phone it will read the pc as the server and you must be connected on the same wireless connection so it will detect your pc as the server so if you renamed your pc server name it will be indicated there so after clicking on the server name more instructions will appear drag your finger on phone screen from left to right so that these instructions can go off left to right right to left okay so this is this screen now is the whole touchpad you are you and then this button is left click this one is right click option and then here is scrolling option you drag your finger up and down to scroll let's try to type so i can open notepad and try to type something so you can see now i'm opening my keyboard you can even use your voice to type so if you are good at typing on phone then this will help you a lot so you can type everything you need this is really a good app in which you can do work from a distance effortlessly yeah so you can type you can even delete what you want from your phone so you can do a lot with this wireless remote mouse it is very simple one more uh, thing to note is that uh, you need to ensure that the phone and the pc are connected on the same network connection it can be wi-fi or hotspot from phone to that pc so what are you waiting for let's try the new tricks like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more of such videos